My name is Sarah Scott. I live in southwest of England and I currently travel the world teaching workshops and I'm a master trainer for expert pollen aerial fitness. Very nice. When I originally started, I never for one second thought that I would be travelling around the world teaching pole dancing. I just didn't, that, that was never even an option. I knew that there was a few people um, like Jamila and people like that that I have you know, always, you know, massively looked up to that, that toured and they were just, you know, these like goddesses of the pole community that I was like, oh my goodness. Um, and then I got involved with x and started doing shows with them. <laughs> Soon after I started teaching workshops, um, I then luckily won Miss Pole Dance UK in 2012 and then it all kind of took off from there. Do you follow Sarah Scott on Instagram? She's so popular when I, I, I was like, hey, you know you got Instagram? And she was like, yeah. I was like, oh, well, what's your handle? And I got it and I was like, damn, I didn't know she was a superstar. All these followers. I think the industry's been shifted a lot by social media, so originally when I started it was all about YouTube, so I think at one point I'd seen every single pole dance video there was on YouTube. But now it's just exploded with um, you know, Facebook and Instagram and things like that, and I started Instagram fairly early on and I've been completely blown away with the, how it's grown and developed. It, it took me a long time to like accept that that was going to be part of the job because there's always something inside you which is like you can't do that it seems very narcissistic to be posting about your life all the time and why would anyone care and but once you start seeing it as like this is what I've got to do this is part of my job try not to get too embarrassed about it this is like definitely like my natural groove now Right now we are at Pole Expo in Las Vegas and it's kind of the first official day of Pole Expo. I've been setting up my booth this morning um, because I'm selling some merchandise this year for the first time. Then I've had a workshop, um, photo shoot now, and then I've got the Pole Classic Showcase this evening. Yeah. I have a clothing line, I guess you would call it now, uh, which doesn't have a name, but it's based around a Pole Ambergram logo that my friend designed for me. I wanted the name Pole, but I wanted you to be able to read it the same any way you looked at it. So I just finished my workshop and right this minute the Bag Kitty fashion show is about to start. I've got to wear that on the stage, so I'm going to run over there. <laughs> Kitty brand ambassador and I have been for the last few years and they are an awesome family to be a part of. They've always looked after me a um, huge amount. And one more. What does it feel like to be a celebrity? Oh my goodness. I was a little bit starstruck at first to meet Sarah, um, but she's totally down to earth. She's I really like that she's approachable and she's willing to help you out if you have any questions about anything. I saw Saria Scott's videos on YouTube and I think I thought that it was a really nice uh, performance. So. And then she's been bragging about Sarah Scott yeah. in class for the past couple of weeks. So we're like, you know what? Let's sign up together for the spinning pole class with Sarah Scott. And it was amazing. <laughs> amazing. We're going to sign up for her next class on Sunday. <laughs> I just, I could never accept that that is something that I would even be in the realm of being described as. I mean, if people ask for like pictures and things like that, it's just a complete, like every single time someone asks me something like that, I'm just like, just, oh, I don't even know what to say. It's just um, like completely honored when people would even think to want to take a picture with you or ask you a question or spend time with you or, or anything. When people tag me in videos or, you know, send me little messages and things like that, like, it completely makes my day. In our community, I think that there's such a love for each other and we all, like, respect each other and we're all so inspired by each other. I completely, like, geek out and fangirl over so many people in our industry. 
that you know I, I I get it because you know I've I've looked up to so many people and if if people take anything from me then I'm always completely honest so yeah I always get completely embarrassed by it but that's fine <laughs> just smile and just do the pose that we all do when we have to do the pictures. My voice is going a little bit, a um, little bit croaky, but we're going to pack the boots down and, and it's all over for the year. Definitely time to maybe chill out for a couple of days after this, it's quite intense, but loved it.